subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. All of these substances cannot conduct electricity in solid state. Can you identify which of these substances is an electrolyte and which of these are non-electrolytes? Click on the substance. The end of this lesson, students should be able to Describe electrolysis and electrolytic cell Identify cations and anions in a molten compound Describe evidence for the existence of ions held in a lattice in solid state but move freely in molten state Describe electrolysis of a molten compound Write half equation for the discharge of ions at anode and cathode and predict product of the electrolysis of molten compounds. Electrolytic cell. This is an example of electrolytic cell. What is an electrolytic cell? It is one type of electrochemical cell. In electrolytic cell, electric current is supplied externally. This will cause a non-spontaneous chemical reaction in electrolytes. Allow me to show you how to set up this electrolytic cell for molten electrolyte. To set up an electrolytic cell, you need 2D batteries, 2 carbon rods with holder, an ammeter, wires with crocodile clips, crucible, tripod stand, pipe clay triangle and Bunsen burner. Now watch closely how I fix the setup. Now, look closely at these carbon rods. In this setup, each carbon rod has their own name. Do you know what they are called? Both carbon rods are electrodes. The one attaches to negative terminal of a battery is called cathode. And the one attached to positive terminal of a battery is called anode. Now, we are ready to carry out our investigation on electrolysis led to bromide. Now, record your observation. Fill in the observation table. Press Enter when you are done. In solid state, ions that make up lead 2 bromides are fixed in positions. They are not freely moving. When heated up, the molecules vibrate vigorously. As the temperature reaches the melting point, lead 2 bromides slowly dissolve and melt. At this point, the ions disassociate and move freely. When a switch is closed, electric current passes through the ions. Negatively charged ions or anions, that is bromide ions, move towards anode. And at the same time, the positively charged ions or cations that is, lead 2 ions move toward cathode. 
Click on the anode and cathode button for a close-up view. At the anode, each bromide ion is discharged. Each bromide ion will release one electron to anode to form bromine atom. Two bromine atoms combine to form a bromine molecule. Hence, bromine gas evolves at the anode. At the cathode, each lead two ions accept two electrons to form a lead atom. Hence, silvery grey globules can be seen at the cathode. Now, let's test your understanding. Observe the electrolysis of molten 2 iodide. Then, fill in the analysis table and press enter when you are done. Half equation. What is half equation? Half equation is equation used to show the reaction occurring at the anode or cathode. For example, in electrolysis of molten lead 2 bromide, at the anode, bromide ion releases one electron to form a bromine atom. Two bromine atoms combine to form a bromine molecule. This explanation can be simplified using half equation. Now, let's write a half equation for ions at the cathode. At the cathode, lead 2 ion will accept two electrons to form lead atom. The half equation at the cathode looks like this. Let's take a look at both half equations. Combining both half equations, will give us overall equation. Now, let's do another example. Electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. But first, you must gather some important information. Fill in the table of information. Press enter when you are done. Now from the table, write half equation at the anode and cathode. Press enter when you are done. Let's combine both equations. Before the equation can be combined, do you remember what must you do first? Yes, you must make sure that the number of electrons on both half equation must be the same. Electron in this equation is not balanced. This is how you balance it. Combining both half equations then will give us overall equation. Type in the overall equation. Press enter when you are done. In this lesson, you have learned that a simple electrolytic cell 
consists of electrolytes, electrodes, ammeter, dry cells, and wires connected to crocodile clips. Anode is an electrode attached to the positive terminal of a cell. Cathode is an electrode attached to the negative terminal of a cell. Positive ions or cations move to the cathode and are discharged by accepting electrons. Negative ions or anions move to the anode and are discharged by donating electrons. Half equation is an equation used to show the reaction occur at the anode or cathode. Example of half equation at the anode and the cathode are as follows. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.